environment we live in, is not as clean as it should be. Various natural phenomena like rotting of vegetation and volcanic eruption are releases poisonous gases in the environment. On the other hand, some human activities like burning of fuels in the vehicles and industries are releasing poisonous pollutants compounds in the environment. The poisonous and harmful substances which contaminate or pollute the air are called air pollutants. Now, learn about air pollutants, and their sources. Billions of vehicles run on roads are powered by gasoline and diesel engines that burn petroleum for releasing energy. Petroleum is made up of hydrocarbons, and engines don't burn them cleanly. As a result, pollutants such as nitric oxide and nitrogen dioxide, carbon monoxide, organic compounds, are emitted from vehicles. In the agriculture field, use of insecticides, pesticides, and fertilizers emit harmful chemicals into the air like ammonia. Natural sources of pollution include carbon dioxide from humans during respiration, methane from cattle during digestion. Industries release a large amount of carbon monoxide, hydrocarbons, organic compounds, and chemicals into the air, thereby depleting the quality of air. Have you ever noticed that once you paint the walls of your house, it creates some sort of smell that makes it literally impossible for you to breathe? Wall paints emit toxic volatile organic compounds in the air which also pollutes the air. Landfills are land areas in which waste is deposited or buried. These deposited or buried wastes generate methane gas which contributes in the global warming. There are certain natural events which are nature-born and causes air pollution, such as volcanoes and forest fire. Effects of human activities on environment. There are few examples of adverse effects of human activities on the environment. When sunlight falls on the earth, a small part of it is absorbed by the earth and is converted to heat energy. A part of this heat energy is reflected by the earth back to the atmosphere. Some gases present in the atmosphere, for example, carbon dioxide, methane, oxides of nitrogen, water vapors, etc., trap a part of the heat reflected by the earth causing increase in the atmospheric temperature. These gases are called greenhouse gases and the phenomenon is called greenhouse effect. Greenhouse is a big room made of glass panels or transparent plastic sheets. It provides warm environment to the plants and vegetation grown inside it so that they can grow well in night and also in winter. Glass or transparent plastic sheets used in greenhouses allow the sun's heat to enter the greenhouse and trap the heat which is reflected back by the earth. The heat trapped by the walls and roof of the greenhouse keeps the inside environment warm. In the upper atmosphere, a layer of ozone are present, which protect the Earth from ultraviolet rays coming from the Sun. In this way, the living things on the Earth remain safe from harmful effects of the ultraviolet radiation. Chlorofluorocarbons which are used in air conditioners, refrigerators and sprays which enter in the air. On reaching the ozone layer, they react with ozone and cause thinning of this layer. Hence, the ozone layer is depleted. The phenomenon is called ozone depletion. Through the thin ozone layer, ultraviolet rays of the sun pass and reach the earth where they affect the life by causing serious diseases like skin cancer and eye problems, etc. These ultraviolet rays also increase the temperature of the earth. Sulfur dioxide and oxides of nitrogen are present in the atmosphere as air pollutants. They get dissolved in water vapors in clouds and turn into acids like sulfuric acid and nitric acid. These acids make the rain water acidic. This acidic rain affects on animals, plants and buildings. 